So a lot of times I'll start a painting with at least this, get some gesso on, trowel it on. I don't have the patience, I'm afraid, for um, brushes much. <laughs> and that's one of the things that I do. So this, the theme of this piece is gonna be a little more boxes, windows, structures of things. So I'm only gonna work in roughly this two and a half foot section uh, tonight. And then stay tuned because I'll probably be doing a live video about this later. And then it has a grooved end here and I can start to add some structure to it. And I'm just doing some gestural moves at first. Cause I really don't know what I'm doing per se. I have a general idea of what I'm doing uh, because I'll oftentimes turn off things of inspiration. Like uh, we have here a uh, print off of some Asian sort of garden type thing going on there. That's kind of fun. I've got that clock and um, this is the astronomical clock in Prague. I don't know if anybody's familiar with that. And then this is uh, on the coast in Italy, I believe a beautiful place that I'll probably never be able to go to. But uh, we're making some structure in there with that. I'm gonna do like that up there. If you don't know how to get started, okay, say you just don't know how to get started. Just start doing this. Get yourself a chalk and just loosen up. Loosen up, make some gestural drawing. Just gesture stuff. There's a term for this. I don't remember what it is. If somebody does, go ahead and post that. Something, auto something drawing. Forget somebody in there is gonna write that down, I'm sure. So we got a few gestures in there. That's kind of fun. That over there. And that's typically how I start. The second thing I like to do is I like to get some color in there straight away. And I just love the art sprays, the Marabou art sprays, because I can cover a lot of ground in a big hurry with these. 